Hi friends, uh, this is Ashwan Pendiala. I have a, 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 today we shall solve a problem uh, which is uh, which I have found in the uh, lead code, uh, which is a um, pretty interesting question. So the question here is, um, okay, how do you exactly find which words can be formed with these characters? I mean, there would be two arrays which would be given. One is array of strings, which in which it has all of the words, and one is array of characters, in which it has all of the letters, in al uh, alphabetical letters. So with these alphabetical letters, how do you find out whether these words can be formed or not? So, uh, so uh, how I have solved this problem is, just take these letters into a hash table but uh, as we are solving this in a web we cannot uh, uh, directly um, take some hash hash map and uh, uh, some something like hash map and fill it in fill all the values or you cannot take some other um, array or directly index it because we don't have arrays in a web so what you can do is i took a I created a temporary structure, uh, which uh, internal table structure, which has character and value in it. And then I have made a, I made an internal table, which is a hash table. And then I have filled first I have filled hash table with a to z. So here you see the you see that code uh, a to z. You uh, so I have translated this to lowercase. Uh, so here we have only lowercase letters. So that is one of the condition we have. We get only lowercase letters. So I fill all these lowercase letters into a hash table of a to z. I'll index each and every value. I mean, each and every index is a a to z are the indexes, and for each index, the value would be just zero. This is just for like um, initialization in other languages like Java or Python. So why I exactly did is. Uh, later, uh, I could just increment the value to any number of times. If if I don't if I don't initialize this, I cannot uh, later uh, access that index. Uh, so so what I would do now is uh, just I would I would take the input input array which is given in the question. So this one which I have highlighted. So this character array, what I would do is I loop through this character array, and then as we already have indexes, so for each and every index, for example, for a index a, the value for a is zero. So as we have a here, now we will increment zero to one. We'll access index e and we'll increment it to one. Access index g, increment it to one. So we would be doing that here in the loop so we'll be looping through each and every character and increase our hash table values like say it would be it would look this way initially it will be like this b to zero c to zero later on when we loop through our it would increment to this way depending on what what characters we have in the input so after we have inputted all the, I mean, after we have, um, uh, after we form this hash table, uh, we get, now we have a, a hash table which has uh, A to Z listing how many characters are given in each and every, uh, how many characters are given in the structure, in only one structure here, so I mean, only one structure array. Right? A, E, E, O, this one, all this. Now, what, what is the next step is just we loop through this string of array. So this string of array is called LT words. So I loop through these words. And inside this loop, I need to have an another loop, which actually has, which will loop through each and every letter of this word. That is, this while condition so the i is just a counter which i would be using um, uh, to loop through each and every um, 
character of of the word so lt words has all the uh, all the words so l so so i would take each and every character here first first word would come first word would be coding what would be coding so first i would get c here i'd get c here and then uh, i would uh, i would check whether c is already whether c is existing in the hash table which we have prepared before or not so c doesn't exist so the uh, i have put a counter which which will keep track of uh, uh, which would keep track of our uh, how many letters are found in uh, how many letters of this word are found in the hash table so in lb counter won't be increased lb counter won't be increased next we will check for o so lb o will be existing in our hash table before so lb counter will be increased to 1 d next we'll check d it won't be there we'll check i it won't be there n it won't be there and g it would be there so L, lb counter will be increased to 2 so finally what we would do is we will check the what is the length of this coding the length of this coding is 6 but the but our lb counter is only 2 so we will try to match if it if it matches then it means we found our word we found our uh, word through which our uh, uh, which we can form through these characters so simple logic um, and that repeats and that goes on uh, the same will be happen uh, the same will be checking for the next word and so on for app and le you will find all the letters so which is why the lb counter and lb uh what do you call lb counter and uh, and the string length would be same so so we'll write we'll write the uh we'll write it to the output so simple logic and the reason i took hash table here is um uh the amount of time uh, uh in reading this hash table is of one which is why i took the hash table else uh, the complexity of the uh, time running this program would get increased so uh, so that is it so the reason i have uh, I, i have written this code before and i'm explaining it to you instead of like instead of like like my other videos other videos are my previous video is um uh, it is in the interest of time i don't want to extend extend the video to another 20 to 30 minutes it took approximately 30 minutes for me to write this code so um, i don't want to increase the time that time to 30 to 40 minutes just to explain in this video i want to make the video shorter for only 10 minutes so thank you i think uh, i hope you like this i'll put all this code in the in my um github you can you can find uh, these codes in my github if you are interested uh, you can check that and do check my other videos uh so maximum i would be solving um uh, interview questions which from the top tech companies so please do for, uh please do check check them uh, and thank you thank you have a good day